everyone. Welcome to my vlog. Anyway, sorry about the cars. I know it's really obnoxious and loud, but I wanted to make a vlog because I'm out on this beautiful walk, even though it's not the sunniest day in the world. Um, it was, it's not pouring at the moment. It was earlier. Yes, I did get a haircut, if you could notice. I don't really know. You see my bangs, they're actually side bangs now. Oh my God, side bangs, I don't know. Okay, sorry, I'm weird. Uh, anyway, so today is Tuesday and I decided to go up to Crossroads Mall, um, which is very close, to, very, it's very close to my house. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I decided to walk up there because I'm doing Teen Challenge and <laughs> Why not? It's like, I don't know, it's almost a, I think it's almost a, there and back is probably almost three miles, I'm not sure. But anyways, um, and we're supposed to have days where we do walking and training and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I decided to walk up to Crossroads today and now I'm going back home. And for some reason, I'm really craving a cheeseburger. And not like a McDonald's cheeseburger, like a real burger. <laughs> Which is hilarious. I cat, cat sitted Salika's cat CG. I wanted to make a vlog then too. I meant to, especially since she set up this cool little book scavenger hunt thing that she always loves to do. Um, Justin and I actually both spent the night Sunday night um, because they said, "Hey, you can have Justin over too if you just want to spend the night." I was like, "Sweet!" So we did, and we watched Kick Ass, which I have never actually seen before, but of course I've heard about, <laughs> and it was pretty badass. Badass man, badass. Uh, I liked it a lot. Uh, and the next day, he had to go to work early, so he had to leave pretty early to get down to, uh, what is it, Linwood, I think, around Linwood, which is where his subway job is. Uh, but we had so much fun. Like, it was great. We even did some Just Dance, even though it was an apartment complex. Don't worry, we kept our feet quiet. <laughs> We love doing Just Dance videos. It's like so much fun. It really is. I love dancing. It makes you feel good and it looks good and it's fun. It's just super fun and that music just makes you happy inside. <laughs> but yeah, but we did that. Um, and so he went to work that day and I just pretty much hung out at Salika's like all day. They were, they went to a cabin overnight like the only time they really, it was just one night because, well, price reasons and also um, busy schedules, super busy schedules. So they went one night and they sound like they had so much fun. They even went to a zoo at one point and they saw raccoons, which they sent me many pictures of and showed me a video of one of them when they got back. Ah, okay. So I told her, I was like, cause I hadn't seen her for a while and I was just like, I want to stay here until you guys get home, but I'm not sure when that's going to be. And, um, it's like I was thinking of getting a haircut today, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure if I can. I was thinking of coming back home and then doing it around this area, but then, because they're like in Renton, um, but then she's like, well, you know, you could spend the night again if you wanted. Even, even though I wasn't really super prepared for that, I made it work. <laughs> um... I literally only had one outfit for like almost three days. <laughs> Two, well, then I she let me borrow some of her clothes at one point. I was just like cool, and I threw together a really funky, fun, spacey outfit with my new star suspenders, which are awesome, by the way. Justin got them for me when we went to the mall. I think Friday, Thursday. That's Thursday. Woo! <laughs> But no, they're so cool. They're star suspenders and I've actually had my eye on them for like ever. And so they're great. They're fun to incorporate in outfits. But yeah, anyways, so she's like, well, you know, there's an evergreen beauty school near my place. I'm like, where, really? Where it's only $12 to get your hair cut. And um, so I was like, wait, really? And she's like, yeah. And so I looked it up, got the number. It was like around four o'clock or something. Yeah, it was kind of late, and then I was just like, I called them up, and I was like, you guys take drop-ins, right? And they're like, yes, yes we do. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. And I'm like, would, you, would I be able to still come in today, because it was kind of late. They're like, if you get it here by 4.45. And I was like, ooh. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that, because like the bus 
I would have taken was at like 4.14 and I like called them around that time. And the next one wasn't until 4.44 and it took about 10 minutes to get there. And so I wouldn't have been there by 4.45 for sure. But then after I was like, dang it. But then I looked at my One Bus Away app, by the way, which is a very helpful app in this area for Metro buses. And my One Bus Away app said it was delayed 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Delayed 10 minutes. Like that's fantastic because I literally like, by that time it was a couple of minutes, it was like, like six minutes or seven minutes away, I think, or something. So I like threw all my stuff together. I was playing PlayStation, um, Harry Potter 3 Prison of Azkaban on PlayStation 2. One of the best games ever. So many memories with that game. But I was playing that like all day and then I just like threw on, I grabbed everything I needed and grabbed the keys and then I just ran to the bus stop, which wasn't that far, but I had to like sprint across the street and I got there just in time. Like I'm not even kidding. And I was like, holy crap, I must, it must be meant for me to get my hair cut today because first of all, it's cheap. It was only $12. And then I got there, it's just like I was, I just happened to be able to get there even though the buses would have, I would have originally not. So that was cool. And the person that did my hair, I think her name was Ebony and she was really, really nice. And we had fun conversation. So then they came back and we um, when Salika and Riley came back, uh, they, what did we do? I, fi I was finishing up Harry Potter because I started playing that again when I got back. And um, then I think we, we made food, watched some YouTube videos, and then played Cards Against Humanity, um, which was fun. It's always fun. I love that game. You gotta love Cards Against Humanity, right? And then went to bed. And in the morning I got up early so that I could go to work with Salika and take the bus from there because it was an easier way to get home. Sorry, it just got really dark. And so I got home early this morning, went to sleep, woke up, and I was actually craving a burger then too, by the way, just to wrap that back around. And I was like, I should walk up the crossroads, hang out and walk back. So I think I've gotten, I'm gonna, like the total is probably gonna be well over like three miles almost, I mean, because like it's almost three miles already as it is, going back and forth, not to mention walking at the mall for like an hour or two. Uh, yeah, and I went and checked out Sports Authority because I'm trying to like, I want to like build up a stock of running clothes and the proper running wear so that I could do this right. Hashtag team challenge, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna take a little, uh, detour, not detour, because I'd have to come back out here, but maybe I can tell you guys a story. This might be a really long, long vlog, and I'm sorry that I'm babbling a lot, but I had a very interesting, busy couple of days. <laughs> so, I'm going to walk into this neighborhood, and I have an interesting story about this neighborhood. When I was 12 or 13, how old was I? It was middle school. I had this one friend, Michelle. Um, that friendship ended up not working out very well. Uh, we'll not get into that detail. Uh, people that have issues and whatnot. Anyways, um, I was gonna walk down here real quick for fun because her grandma used to live down here. I don't know if they do anymore. I don't know where she is even at all. Uh, haven't heard from her for years. It's starting to rain. I might have to stop this earlier than I wanted. <laughs> But I wanted to go look, just for like the sake of embracing the past. If I can remember the right way down there. Oh, so many times. I remember playing Barbies and this one kid that I had a crush on in middle school who later in like high school I wouldn't have anything to do with. It's funny how that works sometimes. Ah, well, how is your day today? I hope it's going well. I'm not sure if, you know what I thought was kind of funny and ironic? Ironic, I think the ironic would be the right word. <laughs> the fact that I was like, ooh, I'm gonna exercise and go for a walk and walk back down to my house and get my Team Challenge exercise in. And then I'm like, but I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> Probably won't get one though, to be honest. I don't have like any money right now. I can't even remember what house it was. It's so much quieter when you're not on the street. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. I, did, I, mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do. This, this week is basically my break, so you might have more vlogs. 
or they also might get super busy. I might go see Insurgent again, which is, by the way, awesome. I don't know if I made a vlog about how much I loved that movie, but I thought it was fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, that's the house. That is definitely the house. Wow. So weird. I guess I probably shouldn't, like, put the house's addresses and stuff like that, but whatever. I don't even think they live there anymore anyways. But yeah, right there. Memories. Memories. That house too. <laughs> God, it looks smaller than I remember it. That's so weird. I figured I'd just add a little extra walking to my walk. That is a very pretty tree though. I want to climb it, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> As much as I love climbing trees, I'm not going to randomly wander into someone's yard and be like, Hey, I'm going to climb their tree, and they're just going to have a weird stranger climbing their tree in their front yard. <laughs> now, that might be cute when I was four, up to maybe like nine, but then it gets kind of creepy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so the weather has been so crazy in this area, I can't like even believe how bizarre this weather has been because it's like I mean Seattle and Bellevue and like Washington whatever they're known for having that really like weird bipolar weather where it's like sunny one moment and like rainy the next and but I feel like it's been a lot more extreme this year we hadn't we didn't really have much of a winter and of course we have plenty of rain and like fall and stuff and and winter but like it's like we didn't have any snow. All the snow went to the East Coast, which is sad, by the way. There was so I heard a lot of stories about that. Um, but we didn't have any snow, and it's been so much warmer. And like the past two days have been super, super bright, bright, bright sunny. And then today, at least this morning, it was pouring rain, pouring rain. And then it got sunny again, and now it's starting to rain a little bit. <laughs> Welcome to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place to live. There's so many trees, but you definitely have a lot of weather that you have to deal with. <laughs> um, but you gotta love those trees, right? Yes. And I guess you wouldn't have such beautiful trees if it weren't for all that crazy random weather. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting slightly winded. I don't know why. I guess I've been walking for a while. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get home. Ooh, ooh, another news piece that is fantastic as far as school goes. I got a 94.16 out of 100 in my final exam for sociology. I'm so excited, I was like, oh. I have gotten so much better at like at least leaving classes with a B or a B plus at my school. And I have this method of only taking like two classes a quarter because otherwise it's just way, way too much work. <laughs> I mean, for me at least, because I, I struggle very much in school most of the time. And so if I have too much going on, um, it's probably not gonna get done very well because I'm just not good at that. <laughs> but you know what my song of the day has been? This is gonna be my year. The, the song that the Shaytards and uh, Ron Erickson, I believe his last name is Erickson, YouTubers, made about this is gonna be my year. Up, down, don't slow down. Do, 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 make your family proud. <laughs> Get on up, make your own motivation. Get unstuck, it's time to change the station. How much can I rest when this life is just a breath? Anyways, it's such a good song and it's so true. Like this is, my year and that goes for Justin too and that all relates to team challenge as well which I'm still trying to work out fundraising things I really would love to make a video about like in depth about like what Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is and talk deeper about team challenge but I want to wait for like the right time and like I was when I walked up to crossroads I wish I was vlogging then because I totally just went into this like I went deep into thought about team challenge and everything and what it meant and I just kind of like I don't know I I said it just I don't know it was it was really great and I feel like I made a lot of like discoveries and I'm hoping to be able to put together a video 
because sometimes it is hard to go off the bat and start talking about it, especially when you're already at 15 minutes. So I feel like a teen challenge video is going to be its own video and it's probably going to be like when I'm sitting down somewhere because there's some really interesting and powerful things about this whole entire situation that is going to be really wonderful and beneficial for me and for Justin and for millions of people that have Crohn's disease and all sorts of colitis. Um, I will check in with you guys later. I will hopefully... Ooh, pretty tree! <gasps> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm so ADHD sometimes. This is a pine tree. That wasn't obvious. Not sure what kind... Oh my god, I think it's an Austrian pine. Which is one of the most typical pines ever. Maybe. Maybe not. Wait, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I'll try to make more vlogs this week, especially since I am on break. Next quarter, I only have scene design and musical theater. I am so excited for that. Oh my god, I need a break from writing classes or anything that I have to write papers. And I think I'm going to take this summer to really get my math up to par and start freaking taking math classes because I need to do that. Luckily I have Justin to help me because he's amazing at math and I am so excited to be able to go through my homework with him because he's probably going to make it make so much more sense to me. Uh, anyways, love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you have a great day. Bye.